Hello, my name is Mr. Trawick. So what I'm going to do with you today is I'm going to make a spider out of everyday tinfoil. So what I have done is I have pre-cut uh, a couple of the strips of tin aluminum foil. And what I've done is I have measured it eight inches. So we're going to use measurement here to try to show, you know, we're going to use the tape measure for measurement. And then we know the spider has how many legs? Eight legs. Okay, so I've already done five of them because I had some ripped before. So I had to cut three more to be exact. And you can see these are about eight, about eight inches. So, and I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do these like I have these right here. But when we're doing measurement, measurement is kind of a precise thing. And in life, we have to use measurement for many different things. We have to use it for cooking. We have to use it for, um, for plumbing. We have to use it for all kinds of different things. Tools are in measurement, usually a metric system. Because um, we know in the United States, we're not a metric system. We use inches and feet. But in most countries, they use the metric system. So... So right now I have six legs, and so this will make seven. Okay. And this is kind of a science experiment too, because we know as well that spiders are arachnids, and they have eight legs, as I said before. And that's kind of in the science world with the type of insects, because like I said, they're arachnids. I think spiders are pretty cool, honestly. All right, so I, this will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Okay. I have to crinkle this up like this. So what I can do now is the leftover tinfoil that I have, I can make a ball, okay? And the ball is going to be the body, like this, okay? So I can have like a, a fat spider or, or a skinny spider. It just depends on really what you want. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit of a skinny spider. Okay, so I have my eight legs here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get a, probably about a, this is about roughly about eight and three-fourths inches right here. So I'm going to cut probably like a square about this big, which we'll measure it, measure it in a minute. Okay, so this right here is... About eight and a half inches by about roughly about four inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my ball inside of this, okay, and I'm going to crumple it up like this. And this is this will be the body of this spider. Okay, so we're like this, and we're like this right there. I don't know if you've seen what I've done. Okay, so I have this. And then I have to kind of bend this over like this because this is where I'm going to end up with the, where I put the legs. Okay. So I have to put the legs on top of here like so. Here, let me move the camera so you can see. Okay. So like this, I have to put the legs like right here. Kind of an even length too, and then again, that's measurement as well. Okay, kind of an even length here. Oops, I just broke. But inevitably, that's what happens when you're messing with tin foil. Okay. okay. So here, and then here, and then here, and then here. And then here, here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight. So what I'm going to do here, okay, now that I've made it, okay, now I can start to bend them. It kind of looks like a dragonfly now. And another one 
broke again. So, but that's okay. I have a finished one that my daughter is going to go get for me. Okay, go get it for me, Leah. I have a finished one that my daughter is going to go get for me. So you can see what it looks like. Go get it, please. Okay. Go get me the spider, please. Okay. So this is my doing. And you see, this is kind of a trial and error type thing. Okay. So my daughter is going to go get the finished one. And the finished one, this is what the finished one should look, look like right here. Okay. Now, I... I did my best with it, but this is after a couple of trial and errors. This is what it looks like. Um, you had to bend the legs like that, and we see you can see we cut that right here. But this is the finished product. Um, you see me right here. I struggled a little bit with it, but and like we usually struggle, and it might take two or three times. But this is the finished thing, and I think we did it about two times before we actually got it right. So. If anybody has any questions, you can always, you know, ask. Um, I'd be more than happy to help. And you see, this is a little bit of the skinnier spider right here. Um, you could color it in, too, to maybe make it look a little bit better. Um, but that's making a spider in a nutshell, a lot of aluminum foil. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy it. It's not too hard. You just have to try to do your best, as always, in life. Mr. Trawick out.